William Herschel, he's combing the sky, finds a planet. No one had ever discovered a planet before, so he was in denial that he had discovered a planet. He thought he'd discovered a comet. People knew about comets. So you read his writings and it says, a peculiar comet this is, it refuses to show a tail. It's a misbehaving comet, when in fact he had discovered a planet. Then it was time to name the thing. Well, being like a good scientific researcher, you, you want to name it after like the people who are funding your research. So he named it after King George. There was the list of planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and George. No one had ever named a planet before. You knew that was wrong, but you didn't know why it was wrong. And they finally figured out, okay, planets are named after Roman gods, but the British were the most powerful horse in the world. You don't want to really piss them off. So up until then, the tradition for naming planet moons has been to name the moon after an assorted Greek character in the life of the Greek counterpart to the Roman god after whom the planet's named. Uranus, the planet discovered by Herschel, is the only exception. The moons of Uranus are named for assorted fictional characters in Shakespearean literature.